Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I just wanted to come through and chop it up with you guys about U of T's enrollment process, okay? U of T's enrollment process is so anxiety inducing, okay? It's so anxiety inducing. I have a personal beef with the enrollment start time, okay? <laughs> Everybody who is in this program will hear me when I say 6 a.m. is too damn early, okay? It is too damn early to be worried about picking your classes for this program, okay? Now, fortunately enough for me, this particular year, is it this year? This year. This year, so my fall and winter terms, I was fortunate enough to get into the classes that I wanted, okay? Waking up at like 5:30 to make sure that you're online and your and your your courses are where they where you want them to be and like finger on the trigger, enroll now. Like it's such a triggering process, right? But like I said, I was fortunate enough to get into the uh, courses with the professors that I wanted um, in my fall and winter term. Um, in the summer, okay, cause I did end up taking one course in the summer. I was not so lucky, okay? I definitely wanted to go ahead and take one of the mandatory courses for my mental health um, requirement. Um, I'm going to stick the link here somewhere so that you can go to that video, check it out. It's where I talk about the stream that I decided to go into. I definitely chose a mental health stream. So anyway, I wanted to get into one of the mandatory courses for my mental health requirements, but of course uh, I didn't, I didn't get into it and I didn't necessarily um, obviously I didn't necessarily enjoy the process because like I said, 6 a.m. enrollment time is wild, but I'm sure they have their reasons for doing it. But for me, it was like this summer, they only offered one, like, I think it was like one section for one of these mandatory courses, um, in mental health. And like I said, in a previous video, I feel like a lot of the, the, the students this particular year decided to go into the mental health stream so you would think that there would be more variety right there would be more sections for us to choose from but there wasn't so i was super pissed super annoyed but then i wound up getting into the um cyber counseling course which was really really good it took me by surprise it was so 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 good especially given the nature or the trajectory that the world is going in right now cyber counseling is definitely a really good option um for for clients so, so kind of getting my my feet wet and understanding kind of like how that looks um and the framework uh was was definitely um eye-opening for me all right so i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys some tips and tricks that i used to get into some of my courses in the fall and winter term now the first the very first thing you want to do is make sure that you're actually taking a course that is going to count towards your um, degree requirements, right? So if you're in the mental health stream, gerontology, um, children and families, or whatever, whatever stream you're in, make sure that you are actually writing down exactly what courses you need to take to fulfill your requirement. There are a couple of electives for most of us, and then like the rest of the courses are mandatory. So make sure that you actually write down all the course codes and read the course description. I think um, a lot of the times, you know, we skip past that particular step. I know I did for a few of my courses, but when I went back into it and I read the courses, you actually get a bit of an idea. Sometimes it's very vague. I'm not even going to lie to you, okay? Sometimes it's vague. Um, but you get a little bit of a sense of what to look forward to in that particular program or in that particular course. Now, the next thing that I'm going to share with you guys is very obvious. Read the professor's bio, okay? Read the bios. They tell you a lot about the lens through which this particular professor is going to teach, right? And so for me, I definitely took some time to read through um, some of the bios for the professors that I wanted. And I, you know, made sure that I wrote down the section code and everything beside the actual course code to ensure that I actually got into their section for that particular um, course. Another tip, ask past students. I feel like that saved me so much. Ask past students about their experiences with these courses 
and more importantly, the profs. Because I think oftentimes there can be a disconnect in terms of like, you know, the delivery of a particular course and the content of a, a, of a particular course. If those two don't jive, it's not going to really make for a great experience. So I would definitely lean on your peers before you that have gone through this program and ask them, you know, hey, what was the program like? What was the professor like? Like, were they cool? Were they not? Like, you need a lot of that information to be able to make um, a sound decision when you're picking your courses. And also, um, if you are a first year student, you don't really have much flexibility. You have to take all of the mandatory courses anyway, so you don't have to necessarily worry about, you know, missing a particular course for your stream. You worry about that in second year. All of your classes are laid out. All of your all of your courses are laid out for you. It's just a matter of picking um, the professor and the date and the time that you're you're looking for. Now, the vital step, listen, and listen good, okay? Listen very carefully here, okay? Because I'm only going to say this once, or maybe twice, three times, who knows? <laughs> listen, there is a function in the enrollment um, area for U of T that is called the enrollment basket. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I'm going to look it up if it's not. But it's called the enrollment basket, and it is vital. Use it use it okay use it because it allows for you to store all of your courses right in one nice little kind of file or nice little area i don't know where it goes but it's called the enrollment basket it allows for you to select all your courses put them in there and just have them wait there now that is vital because you don't want to be scrambling at 555 looking for course codes especially if you haven't written them down or even if you have written them down it'll save you a lot of time having to type Type in the course code and making sure that the sections match up if you use the enrollment basket because guess what all your courses are pre-selected and they're chilling in the basket so use the enrollment basket feature it's great and the next thing that I'm going to share with you is, listen, wake up earlier, okay? Don't wake up at 5.55, your computer could crash, the internet could be, like, wonky, uh, you might trip and, you know, I don't know, hurt yourself, <laughs> I don't know, or stub your toe or something like that on the way to your computer. Wake up early, give yourself ample time to make sure your internet is working, your computer's up and running, your enrollment basket still has all of the courses, not suggesting that they're going to vanish or disappear, but I'm saying you want to give yourself some time to make sure that you've covered all of your bases so that when six o'clock hits you're good to go and hit that enroll now or enroll button or whatever button is there you just want to go 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 okay <laughs> and the very last thing that i'm going to share with you guys is to say a prayer Say a prayer the night before because guess what? Nothing is guaranteed, okay? I lucked out my first and second term when I was doing this enrollment process. I really feel like I was blessed. I really feel like the Lord answered my prayers because it it was mayhem. By 6.01, all of the sections were full. By 6.01, right? So it's like, say a prayer. You know, say a prayer um talk to whoever it is that you follow whoever it is that you believe in and say hey look you know what i'm trying to get into my courses especially especially when you get to your second year because you want courses at a particular time and there's more flexibility um with the electives you say a prayer because boy that enrollment start time is really really wild all right so i hope this video helps if you have any questions comments leave them in the description box description box leave them in the comment section for me below and i will definitely try my best to get back to them um yeah i hope that made sense thank y'all so much for watching peace